Hello guys, welcome to my channel once again. And today's video we're performing a live withdrawal from Shaobank. All right. So some time ago, I think it's been up to a week and almost two weeks ago, I made a video about Shaobank and I showed you guys how you can actually request for loan in Shaobank. Where we talked about three types of loan in Shaobank. All right. We talked about the mortgage loan, which is for mortgage purpose. Okay. We talked about the consumer loan, which I personally feel like I have no reason to advise anyone to go for a consumer loan. And finally, the business loan we talked about in Shaobank. So I went ahead to explain to you guys what bonds is, how to activate your bond account, how to deposit, which we talked about bond. And I told you guys that I have a current bond of about this particular financial partner limited on activated in my account. So the bond actually was in maturi maturity process through, throughout this, this period. Okay. So you can see over here that the date for my bond to expire is going to be 27th of May, 2026. Now I'm making this particular video right now on 25th of June, 2023. Now this gives me a wide range of up to three years for me to be able for my bond to be able to mature. Now, mind you that this bond is actually giving me about 8.9 USD every single week. Now, this is about 70 Hong Kong dollar, which is HKD. Now, this is rated in HKD because Shao Bank is a Chinese bank, which we definitely don't need to tell that uh, about that because still the name over here, Shao Bank, with this Chinese letter over here should be able enough to tell that this is a Chinese bank, all right? So what we're gonna be performing in today's video is to go ahead and perform a withdrawal for, of this asset that you're seeing over here. Now, mind you that in my bond, we have another maturity coming up in the, in less than 24 hours from now. Now, we have we have our day to be in zero, we have our hours to be in 21, and this second remaining. Okay, so this means that every single week, my bond matures to profit. It matures to 70 HKD, and I receive that in my account, which is which is my Shao Bank card. So let's go ahead and do that calculation, right? So that's 70 multiplied by four. That's four weeks in one month. That's that's about 280 HKD. Then if I go ahead and multiply this by 12, that's one year. This is 3,360 HKD. Then if I go ahead and do this multiplied by five, sorry, three years to maturity, okay, so that's going to be multiplied by three, and this is up to 10,080 HKD. Now, I purchased this bond with just 2,000 HKD, and at the end of the whole thing, in, in, in three years, I'm going to be receiving the total of 10,080 HKD. Now, if you go ahead and do that particular calculation right here, you're going to see that it's going to be giving us up to 1,000 more than one thousand dollars actually for for bonds we purchase with a way small amount of that and this is like consistent earning every single week now coming from the popular question a lot of you asked me in the previous video when i talked about the shower bank loan i would like to use this opportunity to make some things clear in this particular video now whenever you're taking loans from shower bank Yes, you will have to apply for the loan, but that doesn't mean that you're going to get the loan immediately. They're going to have to contact you. You guys are going to have to talk about the loan. They're going to know the reason why you're requesting for the loan, why and how you intend to pay back the loan. Remember that this is a bank, which is just like a normal bank where you go to withdraw money from and you do things with the money you get from there. You get a loan from your bank and do anything you want to do with that. And they have three different loan types over here. So the first one is the mortgage uh, loan. This over here says money to purchase any type of property for up to 10 years. They're gonna give you about 200,000 HKD. That's, this is this should be up to about $100,000. And the, the, loan, the loan term is for one year above. You guys are gonna have to discuss this. I'm not part of child bank team to be able to know precisely what how long they're gonna be requesting for you to pay back this loan. But it is also important for you to keep an eye on the interest at which you are expected to pay back the loan at every single year or 
at every single period, depending on how you guys decide it on the load. All right. So over here, they are giving you about 9%. This is the preset order. Now they have the consumer loan, which is money for any purpose, purchase, medical treatment, education, travel without an expense report. Now, I personally don't like this type of loan because this is loan for spending, not for making more money or doing anything like real estate. Okay. This is loan for spending. I personally don't like this, but I don't know why you might want to want it. But anyway, they also have a loan amount of about 8,000 HKV over here. It's way smaller than the mortgage loan because it is for spending. And over here, they have about 16.5% interest rate. So you should keep that in mind when you are requesting for a consumer loan. Now, finally, the big guy in the, in the game, which is the business loan. Now, this is about a million HKD. This should be up to $500,000 or more. All right. And over here, you see that you want to start your own business. They can help you. But obviously, there's going to be some rigorous paperwork going around and every single thing to make sure that you get to be able to get the loan and pay back on time. Every single thing. And they have an interest rate of about 14.5%. So, yeah. So, just answer the question as you guys have been asking me whether you have to pay interest, how often do you have to pay the interest, or how long can the loan last. You can get the information right here. You can see the loan time over here, and you can get more information when you contact them because you have to apply for the loan over here, and they will contact you within 15 minutes after submitting the form so that they can be able to tell you the balance preliminary decision and every single thing. Okay. So basically, all you have to do is come over here and choose on the type of loan you want, mortgage, consumer, business, whatever. Choose the loan you want and then go ahead and complete the loan and every single thing. I personally am not taking a over here. We're going to be talking about our drawer in this video. So let me go ahead and head over to my drawer section so we can be able to draw this 70 HKD we're seeing over here, which is approximately 8.9 USD into my trust wallet. It's my wallet account. Okay, that's my cryptocurrency wallet account. That's actually another good thing about this platform. Okay, the day HKD you can spend into HKD card, which might is over here. And that's the amount of HKD it has in its currently right now. Okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and get that going. All right, guys. So we are back to the withdrawal font center. Right here, what I have to withdraw is 70 HKD. So this is where I have my HKD. The minimum one you can withdraw is 50 HKD per time, all right? Which is practically about $6. And now I'm going to be withdrawing about 70 right here. So let me go ahead and change this to 70, okay? So this is what I have over here. Now you can decide to withdraw in USDT TRC20. You can withdraw in TRC20. In ERC20, you can withdraw in Ethereum. You can withdraw in BNB. You can withdraw in Binance Bet20. So right now, what I'm going to do is just simply go ahead and get my TRC20 address. I'll paste it over here. Then I'll go ahead and click on Next Step for us to go ahead and complete these withdrawals. And also bear in mind that they're charging 0% commission after this. And if I withdraw 70, then balance after operation is gonna be zero HKD until at least until up to one hours from now, when my next bond is gonna mature up to profit, then I'll be able to have around 70 uh, HKD over here to withdraw. All right, so I'm gonna head to get my wallet address and I'm going to go straight over here and paste it right here, okay? So this is my TRC20 wallet address. Please make sure to use yours. Don't use this one you're seeing on the screen. You're not going to be sending the money to yourself, all right? So go to your trust wallet, your Binance, Bybit, anyone you use, the link to all those platforms uh, in the description of this video. You can also use the l -back link in the description of this video to get into your account and get your TRC20 USDT wallet address. Then go ahead and put it over here, okay? Go ahead and click on Next, all right? So once you click on this, what I'm going to do right now is put in my payment CVC code. I'm not going to show this for security reasons, for my card security reasons, okay? So it's very, very much important for me to keep this personal to myself, all right? So I'm just going to tell you guys what, is that, is that what to do. Let me just go back to the account and show you guys where the CVC code is, all right? So if you scroll to the account, just go ahead and click on this CVC code at this card, all right? So go ahead and click on the CVC code over here. Okay, so once you click on that, it's gonna show you your CVC code. So I'm gonna pause this video right now, get my CVC code, then go over there and put it right there so I can be able to upload this withdrawal. So right now, you can see that the, the withdrawal says success, and they're gonna be sending me 
the money very soon. Very shortly, I'm going to be receiving this money into my account, okay, into my Bybit address. And I'm going to put in the screenshot to this particular money in in this video, okay. So you should be seeing it somewhere right now on your screen, okay. Yeah, so this is basically how it works, okay. So it's very, very easy to actually go ahead and start using Shower Bank to make a lot of money. I'm currently not borrowing money in Shower Bank in case you are interested in uh, knowing what I'm doing about. I'm simply using the bond system in Shower Bank to make weekly revenue. Now, I went ahead to explain to you guys the better option to take, all right. I'm not going to go ahead and talk about that in this video. If you really want to know exactly what I, did, what I did in that video, I'm going to put in the link to that video in the description of this video and also going to be recasted at the screen at the end of this particular video. Okay, so make sure to watch this video to the end so you can be able to see that video and click on it or you simply jump to the description of this video and click on the link over there for you to be able to see how profitable this one can be and the best one to go after, all right? So yeah, so that's basically how it works. And I'm going to be ending this video right here. Hope you actually enjoyed this video. And don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Put on the bell icon, like this video, and make sure to share this video with your friends. It's going to help a lot of people make a lot of money online. I'll hope to see you on my next one, okay? Take care and happy ending.